Hey guys, Captain Hockey 82 back here with a another video. It has been a while since my last video has gone alive, but uh, here we are. And the main thing here is PUBG has now gone free to play. Uh, there's a lot of new features, a lot of interesting things going on. So I thought I'd take a, a five, 10 minute video and go over what's new uh, for anybody that's that's new to the game. Any of the new guys, people that just bought the game and I'm trying to figure out the settings or, or the mode so we're gonna go through that a little bit here in this video and just kind of go over the basics and then hope maybe some in the future we'll be doing a, a couple of different video series in terms of actual gameplay and stuff like that so this is the first screen you now load into when you start the game up um, so you get the options down here or this is the actual regular game mode. So you have a solo. You have, uh, TPP is third person perspective. FPP is your first person perspective. I know my webcam is in the way. So, um, so you get your duos, squads, and then this is solo squads. So if you just wanted to go and play it by yourself in squads, so 1v4, you could do that. Um, this is a bit. If you're in third person there you can select a random map or you can do a casual mode which is mostly bots with a little let's see casual mode is 12 players with 88 ai or angle solo squad one man squad 12 player max third person only or in third person you can get the random map and you can play solo or squads or solo squads you cannot play duos on third person to do that you would have to use fpp or first person right now you only do is the rotation of random maps between Rango Miramar whatever I can't remember the rotation is at the moment but it's Vikendi uh, Tago all those are there and you just hit start you get a little counter down here and you would wait to the match to start but the normal thing I always recommend when you first open the games in any game is you go up here to the uh, system menu which is the little cog wheel up on the top bar we'll go over these in a little bit here the first thing is going to step here and to settings switch again uh, I'm go bye -bye. all right so you have zoom settings key guide restart lobby and exit to the desktop the key guide is simply it shows you a quick over overview of what page you can't actually change anything here it's just default uh, keys uh, and we're going to settings the first screen that comes up ask for the line graphics audio controls key bindings and gameplay graphics pretty self-explanatory if you want a borderless full screen window your resolution i play in 2560 by 1440 um, if you want to cap the lobby fps to 30 or 60 or unlimited i do actually tend to have it on 60 just so it plays a little smoother in the lobby it's wasting uh capacity even unlimited but up to you uh and then in game once you're actually in the game you can turn it to unlimited display based or custom where you can set your maximum if you want i just leave that to unlimited easy enough uh i keep the smooth frame rate disabled uh, brightness I have mine set at 71 but again you can set this to whatever you want to make it more comfortable to you you can also change this setting here to disable and so you can actually go here in each map that's in rotation you can change the brightness on that specific map so if you say that you know you think Mary Martin needs to be a little brighter you can go in and crank that up I uh, usually just leave it to uh, universal brightness uh, we're gonna scale leave it to 100 for the most part, if you go up higher than 100, you know, affect your performance, and if you lower it, it doesn't really even affect the quality. Uh, 100 is a good number. FPP, I this is not set to the default, I think is 90. I want to say I always crank mine up to the max on this. And then the actual graphics settings there's low, ultra low, or, or very low, low, medium, high, ultra. I like think mine custom, and then as you see here, is what I have it uh, set to. I use uh, DirectX 11 or DirectX 11 Enhanced. Um, I've tried the DirectX 12, but it's still in a little bit, as it indicates here. 
and it's not a test extension for you, and it does tend to cause instability. Keep in mind, if you change this one, you have to restart the game for it to take effect. Uh, that is it for the graphics and the audio. You get your basic, your master volume, um, music, you can disable it and, or enable it, and same thing, UI, gameplay, um, weapon sounds, they hit added new weapon sounds for some of the guns. I have it set to Legacy, which is the original PUBG 1.0 sounds. Since it's a preference, I prefer the old sounds to the planes that started. Uh, but it's up to you here. Uh, keep make sure you keep this on enabled. I believe it's disabled by default, so please put that on enabled. That's uh helps with uh, the gunshots and locating which direction they are coming from. Then uh, push to talk. You can just change it as you or you wish. Um, controls, here you can invert your mouse, your general sensitivity, mine set to 44, and then the vertical sensitivity, multiplayer is, uh, you know, that, that motion right there, is a little faster up here than it is side to side, aim sensitivity set to 32 across the board, again here the universal sensitivity is all scopes, so I this, my scope sensitivity is the same for every single scope, you could go disable and change your sensitivity to each individual scope, if you so chose, and then you have your you can either toggle to crouch or you can hold. So if you hold, you'll crouch and let me go. You'll come back up. Same thing with prone, uh, walk, all that kind of stuff. You can mess with it as you want. Uh, you get your key binding, so you can go and rebind any keys you want. Um, if you want to see what line it are, you can just kind of pause the video. And uh, most of mine are default. I only changed a few. Um, but yep, yeah. then you have your last tab, which is the gameplay with your settings in the game. So you can, uh, this one is just, you know, if you want to get into the game and you have your inventory up, you have your character. If you have this on enable, you'll be able to see your character there. If not, if you have it on disable, like I do here, it just shows like a, a gray character. Uh, it says performance, so you get a little performance boost out of that. Um, then you have different options for colorblind. Uh, that one, that one, and that one, I, I just use normal. And then you can do custom crosshair, or you can do default, which is white. I, I set it on custom, and I use a blue crosshair, which is are these settings here, which is this one. All, all preference of what's more visible for you. Uh, weapon slot, HUD. Uh, I keep that on enable, that just shows the weapons that are on your screen in the HUD. Uh, world map zoom sensitivity to keep it on 10 again this is the map when you scroll in and out you can change the sensitivity of that all of these i just kind of keep on uh whatever the default is uh, i do disable the on-screen key guide if you are new i would leave this on enabled for the first couple games it puts you on the screen on what buttons do what as a quick reminder um, the loot flash effect is loot on the ground will either glow or it'll pulse like a little light so it's easier to see. I leave this on pulse, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not worried about that, that's on default. Uh, yeah, if you're playing on third person, you can have the camera automatically reset to the right shoulder, latest aim shoulder, latest peaking shoulder, or reset the left shoulder. I leave this on, that's the default I believe. Auto reload, I have it disable. Uh, so it doesn't automatically just reset, uh, or auto, it doesn't automatically reload your weapon when you run out of ammo. Um, in the middle of a firefight, yeah, I don't want to have it start automatically reloading when you run out of bullets. It's super easier to switch to your secondary weapon. Um, in that case, and then you have default firing modes for all of the weapons. When you first pick them up, you can set some of them to single fire, burst, or full auto. Um, I like to keep as much of them at full auto as I can, because if I'm dropping in a hot spot, I don't have to waste the time to grab a, 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 an M4 and switch the fire mode from single to auto when I pick it up, and I may not have that time. So best to keep it on full auto and then change it to single if you need to. Um, DMR is the only exception. I keep that on single fire. Just because I'm not going to... I can... Yeah, just what I do. Um... I do keep all these on enable. This is uh, 
to auto equip attachments. So if you find that it's uh, an attachment on the ground and the floor that you can use that's compatible with your weapon, it'll automatically put it on there. Uh, makes it a lot easier than have to pick it up, put it in your bag, then go into your inventory and move it over to your weapon. Uh, hide helmet, you can keep this on, so it really doesn't matter. Um, live stream screens, if you have some performance hits, go ahead and turn this off, or, or bad internet, uh, turn it off, it'll uh, make your gameplay a little better. Uh, make sure you enable this action queuing, this is a new feature they added in um, so if you're reloading and you go to fire and it's not gonna fire but it will it will fire a minute it can fire if you keep this on so that's definitely a good thing um, I keep the replay uh, on so I can go back and reload the matches if you have performance issues go ahead and disable this um, that will help um, death cam is once you die you'll be able to see how a, a point of view from your person that killed you uh, I just keep this to enabled. I have the statistics enabled. It's not, this is not a big deal. Uh, and then you can actually save and or load your settings from the cloud. So that if you have to reinstall or uninstall, you can go back and quickly reload all of your settings. So you don't have to redo everything. Uh, restart lobby just restarts the entire loading screen as you see here. And we're back in the main menu, so I'm going to go over the top um, buttons and uh, everything else on the front screen. And then we uh, we will end this, this video, we'll pick up on a, another video. So down here in the bottom right is your party, you can team finder there, there's your chat. Uh, you can see all your friends list on there, you can invite your players, all that fun stuff. Up here you have play which is your main screen we're on now you have your career which you can see your stats your match histories five weapons medals and then your replays as we've touched about before customize you can customize your character with all the different accessories uh, that you have available and unlocked um, your weapon skins you can do the same thing change your emotes on your wheel that you can do uh, if you have any other skins for the vehicles, as I do not. Uh, utility, all your different loot crates and kind of a thing. And then your appearance where you can change and customize your character. Make it male, make it female. Change the hair and make it be have it. And if you have a multi-slot, you can change that, which I do not. So Then you have to save and you have to reset your character. Since we didn't make any changes, I don't have to worry about it. The hideout here, you don't have to really worry about it. It's not worth even touching. And then you have your store. That has all the different things they have available for you to purchase with the G coin, which does um, cost money, as it is explained here. Uh, there are stuff you can get with uh, the BP, which is uh, contraband coupons. And you can also get the random crates the contraband coupons are part of the hideout and it's just not worth it uh, so for the most part everything else here is going to cost actual G coin which costs money so um, if you enjoy the game by all means spend some money on here um, I, I don't and uh, up here you have the tutorial missions that you have available different uh, rewards you can get so I got some of them already these are all free there isn't it's not a battle pass you don't have to buy it uh, this is just a bunch of notes and you can read uh, patch notes when they come out through this screen everything that's new get a patch note screen here which is everything that they have in this patch that just came out, which I will go over in another video. Uh, any kind of notifications you have, any invites or anything will show up here. And then here is that cog wheel again. And this one just brings you back to this screen again. 
where it's going to tell you you have to survive 15 minutes in a casual mode match, and then you get that reward. Down here you have your normal mode, which is this screen. You have your ranked, which is an FPP only, and it's only in squads or solo squads. Uh, and then you have your arcade, which is right now there's only an 8v8 team at deathmatch in random locations in the maps. It is first person. You get like kits, almost like a team deathmatch in Call of Duty or or, or anything else. Uh, and then you have a train. Which I'll go into more in depth on a, another a video. Uh, that you can have a basic training, which goes over the the basics of moving and and getting weapon and all that. You have an AI train match, which is essentially it's a one of the ninety nine bots. You drop into an actual battle royale in the on the map at Wrangle, and you have to you go through a regular game. And they give you tips and hits throughout the way, the game. And you're just playing against bots, so easy way to uh, warm up. You only get ten of them, and then you run out. And then you have another training mode that you get access to the weapons and vehicles and everything else you can do to warm up. And it's a good mode to go into when you first start the game up and get to work on your aim a little bit. Uh, we'll go over that in a separate video as well. And then the last tab is your custom games. Something to note: you have to have the you have to purchase the Battlegrounds Plus in order to have access to the ranked and to the custom games mode. Uh, the custom game mode, you either create it with your buddies, friends, or you can join your friends, join someone that has uh, you know different matches they can create, different lobbies, um, as you can see, different rule sets and all that. And uh, we will, uh, so. That is going to do it for this video. It's probably already longer than I would like, but uh, Hope this was a little bit informative for you guys, and I hope to see you guys out on the battlefield. Until the next video, guys, stay safe, get that chicken dinner.